Hmm, it's a clear case of jaundice. What's that? Well, let me explain to you all in today's episode. Hey friends, let us quickly learn about this yellowish condition we call jaundice and see what causes it. Zoom in. Jaundice, also known as icterus, is a yellowish or greenish pigmentation of the skin and whites of the eyes, commonly seen in newborn babies. The word jaundice finds its roots in the French word jaune, which translates to yellow, while its other name, icterus, comes from the ancient Greek word yellow bird. Yes, that's because, according to myth, the ancient people thought that jaundice could be cured by staring at a yellow bird that could miraculously transmit the yellow color to it. But this is just a myth because now science knows the true story behind the causes of this yellowish medical condition. And to understand jaundice, there's another word you need to know. Blitterubin, a yellowish pigment extracted from our blood cells. You see, each blood cell has a limited lifespan of around 120 days. Once it reaches the end of its life cycle and becomes old, it is broken down into hemoglobin, which is consumed by macrophages. Inside it, the hemoglobin is further broken down into iron and bilirubin. The iron is used again in the production of new red blood cells, whereas bilirubin is tagged as a waste product by your body, so the liver does a great job sending it to the small intestine. Inside the small intestine, Intestinal bacteria turn the bilirubin into bilirubin derivates which contribute to the yellow color of urine and poop which is finally excreted out of your body. But in some cases, due to weak or developing liver, especially in newborn babies, the bilirubin is not removed and gets accumulated in the bloodstream. Sometimes it leaks out of the bloodstream and starts to spread into the body's tissues because of which the skin and eyes white area turn yellow, eventually causing jaundice. This mild accumulation of bilirubin is quite common in babies and is referred to as normal jaundice which would disappear in a few weeks as the baby's organs develop. But if the baby attracts more severe symptoms and falls sick, they should be immediately taken to the child specialist doctor who can lower the level of unwanted compounds in their blood. Not only that, even for grown-up kids and adults, jaundice can be a matter of major concern depending on the type that comes in three forms. First is heptocellular jaundice, which occurs due to liver disease or injury. Next is hemolytic jaundice, which results from an accelerated breakdown of blood cells, resulting in excess production of bilirubin. And last comes obstructive jaundice, which occurs due to obstruction in the bile duct that prevents bilirubin from excreting out of the body. And when someone is suffering from any of the mentioned jaundice along with yellow eyes and skin, the person may show other symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, weakness, loss of appetite and even confusion. So if you find anyone with yellow skin, please take them to the hospital ASAP. But the vital question is, how can we prevent jaundice in the first place? Well, as it is caused due to weak liver, it's essential to keep this organ fit and fine by eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly and not consuming alcohol. Why? Well, to know more about it, please check our video, Why Alcohol is Bad for You. Trivia!
Dinner time! Did you know bilirubin levels are measured in milligrams per deciliter? Yes, adults and older children should have a bilirubin level between 0.3 and 0.6 milligrams per deciliter. Hope you learned something vital today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Why are you painting yourself white, kitty? Kitty, yellow. Never mind.